Did you know? There are 124 countries in the world, each with a total area less than 90,000 square kilometers. On the other hand, we have NA-260, Chagi, Washuk, Karan, and Nushki, in Baluchistan, a single constituency with a total area of 98,596 square kilometers. NA-260 is nearly as large as the entire Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. The poorest district of Pakistan, Washuk, and the mineral-rich district Chagi also fall within this constituency. As per the recent delimitation by Election Commission of Pakistan, only one MNA represents this entire constituency. How is it possible for one MNA to effectively focus on such a vast area? Unfortunately, in Pakistan, resources are mostly distributed on constituency basis. How can government develop a such vast area with the development funds of one MNA? Time for a rethink. However, the vast potential of NA-260 cannot be overlooked. With immense mineral resources in Rakshan Division and significant wind and solar energy potential, there lies an opportunity to transform this region into a hub of economic prosperity and sustainable development. To harness this potential, the government should take proactive steps. Firstly, there is a pressing need to establish a modern mineral and mines institute in Rakshan Division. Such an institution would equip the youth with cutting-edge skills in mineral processing, unlocking the full value of the region's mineral wealth and fostering local entrepreneurship. Furthermore, recognizing the significance of renewable energy, the government should, should focus on harnessing wind and solar energy resources to generate electricity, providing sustainable power solutions for the region, while also creating employment opportunities and driving economic growth. It's about generating sustainable electricity, creating employment opportunities, and driving economic growth. In essence, the government has a golden opportunity to transform NA-260 into a hub of economic prosperity and sustainable development. By investing in technical education through the establishment of a mineral and mines institute in Rakshan Division, and by prioritizing renewable energy development, we can pave the way for inclusive and sustainable progress in this region. So, it's time to take action. It's time to unlock the potential of NA-260 and empower its communities to thrive in the 21st century. The future of this vast area and its people depends on the decisions we make today.